What's good, squad? Welcome back to Random Vlog TV. It's your boy, and I'm back with another video for you guys. And today, it's something special because I'm not bringing you guys a gameplay. No, I'm not bringing you guys a vlog. No, sir. I'm bringing you guys five tips for beginning YouTubers. Let's get it. I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. I do know what I did wrong in the past. I do know what I'm doing right as of this moment. So I'm going to share with you guys a few things that you need to do in order to grow your channel fast and gain subscribers constantly and effectively. All right, so let's get into it. Tip number five. For tip five, guys, I've written down idea. And the reason why I wrote down idea is because you have to have an idea for what your channel is. You know what I'm saying? Like, use me for an example because I haven't seen a YouTuber quite like myself yet. You know what I'm saying? Not saying I'm the only one, you know what I'm saying? But I haven't found one yet that does as much things as I do. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I I'm around. I do a lot of things, <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is just have an idea. Like if you want to just make games, you know what I'm saying? Then do that because you can find your crowd. Um, if you want to do what cooking, you know what I'm saying? But let's say if you have more than one passion like myself, just find a way to put it together and put out some great product for your viewers to love. Tip number four, and I have written down equipment. And the reason being because I wish somebody would have told me in the beginning that without good quality, sound quality, you know, picture quality with the camera that you use, um, even your phone, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of, I see a lot of YouTubers that say, that's telling us to, you know, use whatever, use your phone, you know what I'm saying? Whatever that has a good camera, you know what I'm saying? Or if it doesn't have a good camera, use it. And I, st I think if you're going to take this serious, I say come in the door swinging, like come in up. <laughs> Come in that smug, you know what I'm saying? Come in that mug swinging on them. You feel me? Like, <laughs> that's what I that's what I feel like I did. Like, I went out and this camera that I'm using right now is a Canon T5 EOS Rebel. Yeah, Rebel T5. That's what it is. And um, this camera cost me $500. With the attachment, you know, with this tripod, the Gorilla Pod that I have, uh, I have an external mic, but this camera couldn't support it. But I did, you know, spend the money for that. Um, with the lights that I have, because I have a light here uh, for the microphone, for the computer that you're going to be using, guys, you know, a laptop, or it could be a desktop, you know what I'm saying? I prefer a laptop because it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? You can move it, you know what I'm saying? Move it around. If you get inspired, you can whip it out then and there and make a video. But, um, all of this stuff cost me around a good $900, I want to say, around $900. And as a YouTuber, no beginning, if you guys, you know, if you're young, that could be very discouraging, you know what I'm saying? But I believe in the saying, you have to spend money to make money. And if you're going to take YouTube serious, you have to, you know, I don't know, get a job, guys, or ask somebody that maybe that lend you a hand you know christmas is come christmas is tomorrow you know what i'm saying like christmas tomorrow you know what i'm saying like if you're serious about youtube i hope you ask for a camera you feel me a camera or a microphone or some lights you know what i'm saying something um but that's that's just a big part of why i think a lot of small youtubers have a hard time grasping people's attention and growing an audience because of their quality so definitely equipment and that ties it in for tip number three, which is quality. And I use this not as so as like your picture quality, like I was just talking. I'm talking about your quality of your channel as a whole, like uh, your thumbnails that you're using, the banner of your channel, you know, how you set your channel up. Like, are you, you know what I'm saying? Are you a cheap grade quality or are you a high grade quality? You know what I'm saying? That's what's separating us as YouTubers, smaller YouTubers and big YouTubers. For us to like climb that mountain and cross that threshold, you have to, you know, look at our page and see like, is it laid out to where I know people would, you know, scroll and they'll, you know, okay, okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are people 
thinking when they go to your channel that's what i do a lot if you notice anything about my channel personally guys i changed my banner not too much but you know what i'm saying i changed my banner uh i think it looks more professional and i also i'm always changing the layout of my of my channel if you guys notice like i'm always switching the playlist around like i might have vlogs first then popular videos then gameplays you know what i'm saying but like if let's say if i'm getting a lot of views i'm noticing like on my gameplays let's use that for example i was put my gameplay playlist at the top so when people go to my page that's the first thing that they see you know that's what they associate with me with so you know that's just a few things you know to think of especially thumbnails uh, thumbnails definitely you might not have the equipment to take a nice picture but guys use google that's what i use use google and um there's a site called what pick monkey uh be funky you know what i'm saying like go check out those two sites i might link those down below in the description um check out those two those two sites for editing you know what i'm saying like it's free uh you just upload your photo to it uh you can do your little editing thing you know what i'm saying throw layers on there like you see me do with my thumbnails that's another big thing guys thumbnails all right tip number two and for this tip it's learning learning slash studying when i say learning you have to like watch your competition you know what i'm saying like me take me for example um vlogging so i, I watch a lot of people that do vlogs you know um john hill i love his vlogs uh lamont holt does somewhat of vlogs but he's getting into like you know top 10 lists and stuff like that um you know ddg you know what i'm saying like him uh you know cash nasty he does uh he does vlogs you know sometimes when he goes to flea markets you know what i'm saying like you know casey nice that of course nice nice casey nice that did i say it right i don't know bro if i fucked your name up i'm sorry <laughs> yeah so watch your competition guys uh that's that's basically what this is about like learning what your niche is like if you love cooking or if you love to i don't know uh you know race cars so if you're uh, somebody that wants to make videos on you racing other people in your car uh you know what i'm saying like go through the list of what i just put you know equipment and all that and when you get down to learning and studying you need to search on youtube who's already doing that and what you do is you find the top channels find the top channels Go on their page, man. Watch their content. You know what I'm saying? Watch their content. Get into the community that they're in. You know what I'm saying? You know, get into that. And you know what I'm saying? There you go. You know what I'm saying? Like, watch them. See what he's doing right. You know what I'm saying? See what you would do. You know, change a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? Like, how would you go about, you know, how their video went? Like, you have to study people. Study them. Tip number one. This is the final tip. And this is personality. Uh, and I use this tip for you guys. I want to say this tip for you guys because... I notice a lot of the smaller YouTubers, you know, like myself, but I'm not putting myself in this category. Uh, <laughs> they don't have, not saying that they don't have a personality, it's just they don't let it show, or they, when they are on camera, they're kind of shy. And I believe, like, you have to learn how to be yourself with the camera, guys. Like, it's not going to hurt you. You just talk to it like it's another person, you know what I'm saying? Just turn that mug on one day and just sit back and just talk to that mug like it's somebody else's. Just tell, tell it. Tell the camera, you know what I'm saying, what happened to you today, you know what I'm saying, like, that, that breakup that you had, or, anyway, I'm getting off topic, but anyways, <laughs> personality, you know what I'm saying, be yourself, and also, be transparent to your audience, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, like connecting with your audience, you know what I'm saying, I think that's a big thing, being transparent through the, through the camera, like, how you would act with so-and-so, you know what I'm saying, that's how you should act with us, you know what I'm saying, like, shouldn't be too different you know what i'm saying like be transparent be a real person you know what i'm saying just use your personality guys like i know you guys are cool people like you know what i'm saying let that mug show fam you know what i'm saying <laughs> that isn't it hold up don't exit the video yet that isn't it we have one more bonus tip that i'm gonna give you guys and for the bonus tip it is be patient guys it's not a race you know what i'm saying like um it's like a baby YouTube. It's like a little, a cute little newborn. Just, just watch it grow. You know what I'm saying? Like babies don't grow up in a year. You know what I'm saying? They're not grown full adults in a year. You feel me? Like that's how you should treat your channel. Be patient with it, guys. Watch it grow. Nurture it. You know what I'm saying? All right, this is getting weird. <laughs> the next bonus tip is to join communities, like I did. Uh, whatever you're, you know, you're making your videos on. You know, you might be a vlogger like me. I joined a bunch of vlogging. Um, of vlogging uh, communities and what I mean by community is outside of YouTube which is like what Facebook uh, Twitter 
you on Instagram. Uh, wait, you know, you know what I'm saying. You know, you know what I mean. Like, join some com uh, communities. Uh, you, it's hard to be a YouTuber and not have some type of social media other than YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to have Twitter. You have to have Facebook. You have to have Instagram. Like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe not Instagram so much, but you just have to have some way of connecting with your audience. You know what I'm saying? To be on a more of a personal level with them. And for the last bonus tip guys it is give credit give credit guys and the reason why i want to say give credit to you guys for beginning youtubers is because let's say that you come across something that somebody else already done it like uh how to hack the server to where you can get free ps4 you know uh internet like the little gold joint like you can just get that free you know what i'm saying for life like you ain't gotta pay for it like if somebody made a video like that by the way if somebody did tag me in that <laughs> but if somebody made a video on that guys and you decide, you know what, I'm gonna make a video like that too. Give credit because that guy originated it, especially if he was the only one that did that. Like, of course, you know what I'm saying? Like, people are gonna put two and two together. Like, give credit, guys. It's gonna help you out in the long run because that person might be like, cool, dude, like, thank you for watching my video and shout me out to your subscribers. Now let's do a collaboration video. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Like, if you were to shout somebody out, you know, hey, yo, he did this, and this is my take, you know what I'm saying? This is his channel, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? You're giving credit to where it's due to this dude for making the video and you just, you know, give him what you think on it or you might have something else you can add to it. You know what I'm saying? That might spark a friendship between you and this other YouTuber and bam, there you go. You know what I'm saying? There you go. That's how it happens. But um, yeah, those are the three bonus tips, guys. Be patient, uh, join communities and give credit. Uh, and that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I want to say shout out to all my new subscribers. I love you guys. Like, I really do. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. And down in the comments, if you guys feel like, you know, you have something that you can add to the conversation, like, uh, you know, a tip that you might have for a beginning YouTuber or a story of what you've been through, you know what I'm saying? Put it down below in the comments. Let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Let's be one big family and just help each other out. That's what I, this is what I want my community to be like, you know what I'm saying? To help each other out, you know what I'm saying? I know I do a lot of funny videos and I'm always like acting crazy when I'm vlogging, but deep down inside, guys, I really do care about you guys, like the view, like you, dude, you, bro, the one watching me right now, or girl, you know what I'm saying? Sister, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I care about y'all, man, you know what I'm saying? Leave it down in the comments below, gang, gang. But anyways, I'm out this mug. Um, I'm about to go, uh, I don't know, chill, play some 2K. I'm about to do something. But uh, <laughs> I just want to bring you guys this. Oh, yeah, hold on. Before I go, guys, today, this is my second video today. Today, I had dropped a vlog. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out, guys. Go on my channel, check out the new vlog that I got up that I did today. Anyways, I'm out. It's been your boy, Renovall TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah.